this is my tester right here. Excuse all the paintings that are in the process of drying. But I used a clear glitter base because I want to try something. See, there's the painting. And it had a couple of spots on it that would not fit, be fixed. So I thought it would be really cool to do a painting on top of it. But I couldn't, didn't want to take away from it. So, I'm trying this clear. I saw Heather do it with hodgepodge. Mod Podge. <laughs> so, I had the clear glitter stuff. And I don't like glitter. So, I thought, well, I could clear it out. Put a little bit of tint to it. And put a ring pour. And leave some of the rain pour. And just to see what it does. Oh, the glitter made the cloud look like eyeballs. Oh, you can tell the glitter had stars in it. So, we will see. The, it didn't mess up the texture at all. You can see, I think that's the white canvas underneath. It's drying. And a, a seahorse came out of it, which is really cool. And I, did, I just noodled his head a little bit. Smeared, smeared it. All right, so let's see how this dries. And over here is my t-shirt one with a smear underneath. It's really, turned out really well. And this, I am just going to say right now, Hold on, my cat post work. This is an old canvas. Okay, I'll show it. See, there's the bottom part. And it was one of my favorite paintings, but it had a chip on it. And it was in my bedroom. So I said, well, I will see if I could do a creature. I love doing experiments. And... So I just, I used um Rust-Oleum white, and it's very thin, creamy, and no matter what, it's almost transparent. So you can see some of the canvas. In fact, I'll bring it up closer. See the dots? That's actually um, Golden's Flow. I made little um, dendrites. So it sort of is underneath there, which I actually gives it more texture and I'm not really sure it sort of looks like a warthog and the grass becoming the grass I have no idea but I had a blast with it and I loved how it sailed and this is my favorite part right here and there's the nose. No, that's his body. There's the nose. And his face. And these are canvases that didn't survive. Oh, you saw my room. More canvases. And right here is the one I did last night. Um, some a tester canvas too, which we had um, frog tape and see if the frog tape would keep the painting underneath and it did which so I didn't like it anyway so I just painted the full thing and then I'm going to maybe do a pen outline on those two to bring it out but it did really well and did straw and smearing and this one is literally left over paint and then I did a straw and swipe on the top and a little bit of um it's like a mouse Ew. and look he looked like a little creature so I draw, put a little eyeball in his eye and put a little ear and this is my rec room and there's my skeleton and there's the painting 
that was my grandmother's. And this painting is my favorite all paintings. It was my grandmother's too. And I just feel like I can just walk in it. And I love trees. That's probably why I love Canada. And there's my first attempt of doing the resin thing. And I completely annihilated some things. And I love the horse. You can't see the horse. I'm probably going to edit this. He's upside down. But you can see I messed it up. But even messing up, it's still good. Maybe I could fix it, the holes. All right, so this is my crazy rec room. And there's my dragon that I did before I even knew about the schmears and stuff by Gail. But I'm very grateful I did because now I've really enhanced it. I just let it sit there. I'm going to seal it later. All right, so.